But what if I told you there's another layer, one that brings your data to life by adding where things happen, not just what happens? That's where spatial data comes in. At its core, spatial data is split into two fundamental types, vector and raster. These are the building blocks of everything from simple location points to complex geographic models. Let's start with vector data. If you've ever mapped out store locations, plotted addresses, or worked with geographic boundaries, you've already used it. Vector data represents discrete objects in the real world. A point is the simplest type, a single location with a latitude and longitude, such as a crime report, a bus stop, or a weather station. A line connects multiple points, roads, rivers, even airline flight paths, anything that represents movement or connection. And then we have polygons, shapes that define boundaries, countries, building footprints, even the zones used for real estate pricing or environmental protection. Each of these is defined by precise coordinates, making vector data great for things that have clear edges and positions. But now let's talk about raster data, which works completely differently. Instead of objects, raster data is built from grids of pixels, just like an image. Each pixel contains a value representing something about that specific location. Let's think about satellite images for a minute. Every pixel in that image carries information about the color, temperature, or land cover of the area that it covers on planet Earth. Elevation models work much the same way, where each pixel represents the height above sea level. In climate maps, they show temperature, precipitation, or even air pollution at a specific time and place, all stored in grid format. So raster data is perfect for representing continuous surfaces, things that don't have hard edges, but change gradually across space. So why does this matter? Whether you're tracking real estate prices, mapping climate change, or analyzing traffic flow, understanding vector and raster data is the key to making sense of spatial patterns.